Hello, my name is Marcel Bogunt. This level of the uh, Cosplayer videos is all about locations. Um, in Office, you can define your own location structure, regardless of how the locations were defined in the authoring BIM application or BIM applications. The way we do that is by splitting the overall project bounding box into smaller pieces, thus locating sublocations. And the elements in your project know where they are, especially. Uh, so using that information, we're able to assign each of the elements uh, to the sublocations that you define. This way, we can do a, uh, a model-based uh, and location-based quantity takeoff, which then feeds the uh, location-based cost plan and location-based schedule later on. In this video, I will first explain how you define the project bounding box to make sure that all of the elements in your project are included in your quantity takeoff. In this video, I will introduce you to the concept of locations in Vico Office. I will talk about the project bounding box and how you can set up the bounding box coordinates to make sure that the entire project content is included in your project takeoff quantities. When you activate the first model in Vico Office, a project bounding box is created. The project bounding box is the volume that includes all geometry of the activated model in your project's quantity takeoff. When you publish and activate a second model and any subsequent model, geometry may exist outside the initially created bounding box. If this is the case, you need to adjust the project bounding box to ensure a 100% complete quantity takeoff. The default size of the bounding box has an offset of 10 feet, or 3 meters, from the first model's outer limits. You can adjust the size of the project bounding box by simply defining the position of the bottom left and the top right corner of the project bounding box. In the next videos in this level, I will explain how the project bounding box is used to define the locations in your Vico Office project. Defining locations is done by splitting the project bounding box so that sublocations are created. Elements know to which sublocations they belong based on their position in the 3D space, which then allows Vico Office to perform location based quantity takeoff, cost planning, and scheduling. In the dashboard, I have opened my project and I am now going to the Manage Models view set open the model manager and as you can see I opened or activated two models uh, the substructure and the superstructure and I activated the substructure first. We'll now go into the LBS manager I select the LBS manager workflow palette and I select the define locations workflow item and that opens the LBS manager to the left and the 3D view to the right and you can already see the uh, project bounding box appear here. The project bounding box was uh, defined using the uh, information of the substructure uh, so you can see that it has an offset of 3 meters or 10 feet uh, from the highest element and the lowest element in that model. So what we need to do in order to make sure that all of the quantities of the entire project are included in the project bounding box is enlarge that project bounding box to also include the superstructure. So to do that, I right-click on the project node and select Set Bounding Box Coordinates. And in here, I can then manually type the values that I would like to use. Uh, so maybe that is uh, 30 feet or alternatively I can derive the coordinates from the 3D view in which case the software determines based on the highest element uh, what the optimal size of the bounding box should be and as you can see the value was updated and when I click OK uh, the new bounding box is created and uh, in order to see the updated bounding box I need to update my project uh, which is explained in video number four in this uh, level six.
During this video, I explained the concept of locations in Vico Office, and we use the LBS manager or a location breakdown structure manager in Vico Office uh, to take a look at the project bounding box that was automatically created after activating the first model. We then modified the size of the project bounding box by setting the bounding box coordinates uh, by opening the properties of the project level uh, location.